Well, tomorrow makes, marks one year since a gunman held four people hostage for hours at a synagogue near Fort Worth, Texas. WGN's Gaynor Hall takes a look at a new survey examining anti-Semitic attitudes in the United States. This is something that you don't ever expect to have in your own city. It was January 15th, 2022. We're not going to tolerate this. A hostage situation unfolding for 10 hours in a synagogue in Colleyville, Texas. A British national wielding a pistol cited anti-Semitic stereotypes and demanded the release of a Pakistani woman who is an alleged Al-Qaeda operative. I told them to go. I threw a chair at the gunman and I headed for the door. The FBI killed the gunman, the hostages got away, and one year later, a survivor tells the AP they are healing, not healed. When we look at what occurred in Colleyville a year ago, those were driven by historic anti-Semitic misbeliefs. David Goldenberg is the Anti-Defamation League's Midwest Regional Director. The ADL just released results of a new survey of more than 4,000 adults in the U.S. Among the findings, an alarming increase in beliefs in anti-Semitic conspiracy theories and tropes, nearly doubling what they found in 2019. So anti-Semitic tropes along the lines of Jews have too much power, Jews have charges of dual loyalty, Jews are more loyal to Israel than they are to the United States. There's roughly 11 of them. Our survey showed that 20% of those surveyed said yes, that they believed in at least six of those 11 anti-Semitic tropes. Goldenberg says anti-Semitic attitudes, often fueled by social media, can lead to violence. Those of us who have been on the front lines, to be honest, are not overly surprised because we have seen a dramatic increase in the number of anti-Semitic incidents. He says everyone has a role to play in combating hate. It's not just limited to instances of anti-Semitism. We have to address it as it relates to racism, as it relates to xenophobia, as it relates to xenophobia, as it relates to homophobia and transphobia. We continue to see a rise in hate crimes that are directed toward at-risk and marginalized communities. And all of us have a role. All of us have a responsibility to speak out, to share facts, and to show strength. Gaynor Hall, WGN News.